Hi guys, Robert here, back in another video. Um, and it's going to be an unboxing video today. Um, I have been wanting to get this ever since I found out that it was going to be released. And it was released last week. Uh, this, this here... Uh, was released in Japan a few months ago, but it was released in three different sets. Um, and in the English version, it was released in one big set. So that's a good thing. Um, as everyone knows, I'm a massive, massive Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Um, I have been for since it started back in like the early 2000s. Um, and this set is just like, uh, I think it's a commemorative set, if anything. Um, it is a box of trading cards, but they are commemorative trading cards in a nice box. This isn't the box, obviously. Uh, I like giving a shout out to guys over at Chaos Cards for getting me this. Um, well, it's not getting me, I bought it. Um, so let's just crack open the box, shall we? See what we got. We have a trusty nail. Set it made of. Yeah, we'll just give it that. And here we go. Here we have the Yu Gi Oh! trading card game Yu Gi's Legendary Decks Collection. Yes. Uh, this here is housing three different decks that Yu Gi used throughout all five series. Comes in a lovely gold box here. Um, obviously, they're trying to make it look like the box that held the Millennium Puzzle um, and it looks absolutely looks fantastic look, look at that look at Yugi there with Yugi and Natem dual discs and all show and jump to Yugi train card game unit so let's, uh, let's crack this open shall we crack the seal uh, there we go Can I can I do this? I can do this. Right, so we have some new edition cards there. We've got this is the Duelist Kingdom deck, I believe. The Battle City deck and the final duel deck. Right, so obviously we're gonna go in chronological order here. So let me just get this. Exodia, yeah. Where is the seal? There we go. Finally. Okay, this, so this is going to be based on... This is the deck that you can use in Series 1, Duelist Kingdom. Um, I think it's going to be based on the first episode, obviously, because um, Weevil <laughs> took Yugi's cards... Exodia cards and freedom in, into the ocean. So after episode one, you can never actually got Exodia back. So we got here. We got Exodia, the forbidden one. There it goes. Right, leg of the forbidden one. All these are holophile. Nice. Left leg of the forbidden one. Right arm of the forbidden one. Left arm of the forbidden one. Oh, and then we're going to we're going to commons. Okay, so Black Luster Soldier with the ritual version. Black Luster Soldier with the beginning. Dark Magician, very nice. Dark Mission Girl, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Summoning Skull. So there's some classic cards here. Curse of Dragon, Catapult Turtle, Celtic Guardian, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, Fell Imp, Beaver Warrior, Griffor, Mystical Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, Mammoth Graveyard, Kuribo, Monster Reborn, Swords of Revealing Light, Mystic Box, Brain Control, Monster Recovery, Spell Shattering Arrow, Horn the Unicorn, Mystical Moon, Burning Land, Multiply, Detonate, My Q, the Magical Mist, Polymerization, Black Luster Ritual, Mirror Force, Magical Hats, The Eye of Truth, Shift, and Guy the Dragon Champion. I would definitely say that that is the deck from Series 1. 
Uh, the, only, the only mentionable thing I think is missing is uh, Magician of Black Chaos, which he used in the final duel against Pegasus. But, you know, to have all five bits of Exodia, which was always like the big thing back when Yu-Gi-Oh! came out, uh, is pretty cool. So we'll just sit them aside here. Uh, next, we're going to go for the Battle City deck. I find the seal. They just don't want to come out. Here we go. Okay, so we got Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior, which was a big thing. Now this, this here, this is the big card right here. This is the first time this card has been released in English. Uh, this card was released in Japan when the episode aired. This is the Red Dark Magician. Um, this was Arcana's Dark Magician uh, from Battle City. Um, and everyone's been begging for this card ever to be released. And we finally got it. Uh, even though Yugi... We never saw the Red Dark Magician again after that after that duel. Um, I'm assuming that Yugi took it because the rules are to give your rarest card to, the opponent, to your opponent if he was to lose. So... It should be in his deck, but I'm happy that you know this card's finally been released. Such an amazing card. We have Dark Magician Girl with Alternate Art. Ooh, a Soldier of Eden Light. Mirror Force. You will see some repeat cards, obviously. Uh, Buster Blader, Archfiend of Gilfer, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight. Berthamet, Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts. These are all cards that were famous for Yugi's deck. Uh, you got the Alpha Warriors, Big Shield Gardener. Kuribo again, Monster Reborn, Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Knives, Magic Formula, Magical Dimension, The Fusion Wave Motion, Double Spell, Ectoplasma, Soul Taker, Pot of Greed, Card Destruction, Exchange, Monster Recovery, Polymerization, Defusion, Multiply, Magic Hats, Magic Cinder, Spellbinding Circle, Light Force Sword, Chain Destruction, Soul Rope, Tragedy, and Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, which did, he would just use his card constantly. It would usually be an opening move. For Yugi to you was to fuse and make that card. So that's the Battle City deck. Uh, again, just fantastic to have that. And next we're gonna go to the, the final deck, and that this is the final dual deck. Um, this is the deck that Yugi used in the last episode. Um, where he faced a Tem. I don't know whether it's gonna be the deck that a Tem used or the deck that Yugi used. Uh, so if I can get it open. This is like the hardest part. Come on, break you damn thing. There we go. Get the crazy out of the way. Right. We have the Magician of Black Chaos there. Uh, this is the ritual version. Uh, and we have Dark Magician of Chaos, the regular version. So we've got two versions here. Black Chaos, Dark Magician. Dark Magician of Chaos and Magician of Black Chaos. Same card, different names. It's very weird. Uh, Sign Magician level 8. So this this seems to be a mix of the two decks. Look by the looks of it. Dark Magician. Gold Sarcophagus, which is Yugi's final play uh, to, to stop Atem. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, which was a massive, massive card in Series 5. Sign Magician level 4. Sign Magician level 7. Science Source Level 5, Science Source Level 3, Dark Magician Girl, again, Alternate Art, Buster Blader, The Tricky, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight, Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget, Skilled Dark Magician, Skilled White Magician, Blockman, Marshmallow, which is one of my favorite cards, Another Kuribo, Monster Reborn, Soldier of Light, Card of Sanctity, Polymerization, Dark Magic Attack, Magicians Unite, Dedication for Light and Darkness, Mad Black Magic Ritual, Tricky Spell 4, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, Marshmallow Glasses, Mirror Force, Magician's Curtain, Shattered Axe, Stronghold the Moon Fortress, Miracle Restorance, and Dark Paladin. Wow. There are some cards in there, I tell ya. And then we have the uh, promotional cards here that they didn't think could fit into the decks at any point. So they stuck them in this like little promotional pack. So let's just look at these. Come on. There we go. First off, we've got Electromagnetic Turtle. Uh, this card, again, was never ever released in English. 
Um, Yuki never actually played this. He would just send it to the graveyard from his hand for his special ability. Uh, so that's really cool to have. Uh, Dark Renewal. Very nice. Black Illusion. And then we have the Doors Kingdom entry cards. Uh, we have the Glory of the King's Hand. Set Self for the Kingdom. And the Duelist Kingdom card itself. There you go. And then next we have the Egyptian God cards. Now, in my tenure of being, well, you know, I think, well, within 20 years now, next year will be the 25th anniversary of Yu Gi Oh! In the 20 years that I've been in Yu Gi Oh! I've collected cards for about 9 of them in 20 years. And I never actually owned an Egyptian God card. And now I do. Uh, and these are in its original color format. Um, this card could not be used in a duel. Uh, this is the promotional copies, uh, just like they ever first released. You were never allowed to use them, uh, so I'm so happy that you know uh, I do have them now. So we have Slice for the Sky Dragon there. Oh, but this the Tormentor. Oh, mate, it's beautiful. And the Winged Dragon of Ra. Wow. You know. And then the last card is just a Holofoil uh, Yugi token. Uh, which is just for a bit of promotion. Now, is there anything else in here? Anything else in the box? No, nothing in the box. Okay, so. Go back in you. Okay, so we have the Doors Kingdom deck, the Battle City deck, the Final Duel deck, and your promotional cards here. Oh, mate. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with this. I mean, just just to own something like this is amazing. I hope like I hope they do one for like for Kaiba or for Joey or you know because all three of them changed their decks throughout the series. Um, <laughs> could you imagine Kaiba's? Just every deck would be three different kinds of blue eyes. Three blue eyes here, three blue eyes there, and three blue eyes here. <laughs> uh, jo Joey Joey was always my favorite character. I think he always had the best cards. Um, so I would definitely like to see a Joey version of this um, if possible. Um, but you know, you never know. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Yugi's legendary decks. Uh, so yeah, keep looking out for more videos, guys. And uh, peace.